Tiniest of plucks there. Good morning, by the way. I'm continuing in pursuit of tench. They have been rather elusive, mostly, anyway, in recent sessions. So it was nice to connect with that one. Not only connect with it, but also, <laughs> if you follow my blog posts on a regular basis, to actually get it in the back of the net as well. Some more action there, I can see. Liners on this occasion, you can always tell, can't you? It's the nature of the beast, it's the way tench feed. They are shoal creatures, and you do get a lot of liners when you're fishing for them, which is all good, of course, because it means that in the area you've baited up, where your bait is, you've got fish. Another tiny pluck there, I struck, and I'm playing a tinker. I think it is, if not, based on yesterday's session to the roach, it's a, a record. <laughs> Joking aside, another tension. I did wonder for a brief moment or two whether I actually had a small carp on. It powered off into the weed. However, I got it out. And here it is, the second tinker of the morning. I haven't been here very long, have I think Ian Clark is definitely on holiday this week. Hope you enjoy your holiday, Ian. Let me know when you're coming back. I'll go somewhere else. Away from you. Talking of coming back, this one wants to go back. It's thrashing around in the landing net. It's going off in a moment or two, as soon as I can position it and slide it into the water. There it is. Nice looking fish, aren't they? Tench. You may notice that I've got my winter jacket on. Fairly chilly this morning. However, most important thing to realize if you're a fisherman, it's not about the air temperature, but the water. And that's still holding up because as we know, the air and the water temperatures don't move at the same rate. So although we may have had a, a chilly evening or a chilly night, it doesn't mean to say that the water has also followed that downward spiral because it was quite nice yesterday afternoon. The water temperature, that holds up. It takes some time for it to really start to go downhill. So maybe, depends on the weather, obviously, in general. But once we hit September, October, November, the autumn months, you do find that the temperature begins to decrease. But it's the winter, really, that you find those rock bottom water temperatures. In the meantime, I've still got a few days left of August to continue with my tench fishing. Before I move on to other species and venues. A bonus roach, not put off by the size 10 hook and the six pound line. Talking of the curse, as I was just now, I had a message from him. In fact, I've just had a ping as I hit record there, and he's not coming down here today, so that's good. He's going down to see Wolves play later. That means Chelsea will win. <laughs> Three points for the Blues today. Let's see what he's got to say here, shall we? <laughs> this is all, this is all as it happens. Good to hear you're catching tench. Enjoy your day's fishing. Well, my, my gain is Wolves loss. <laughs> Hopefully that's not true, of course. It's gone quiet. The key, as you saw me throw in crumb and corn out earlier, the key is to keep the bait going out there, especially when you get the fish in the swim. They are feeding, you need to keep them there for as long as you can. They are shell creatures, they like to move around, but if you can, 
get them to pitch up and feed over your bait. That's the key, isn't it? That's what it's all about. A very enjoyable couple of hours there. Nice to get back among the tinkers. If you're watching this on YouTube, as opposed to my website, then check out the description box for the relevant links.